Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony. Today I'm going to be doing a demo and first impressions of the Sigma F87 Edge Kabuki brush. This is one of their newer brushes in their dimensional collection. And they did send this to me to try out and I was so intrigued by it that I had to try it on camera for you guys. And I did a couple videos recently with some of their other brushes. They're coming out with some really unique different shapes. And I've been very, very interested to see how they perform. I'll link to the other videos down below so you guys can check those out. So this brush, the Edge Kabuki, it says that it is a dense, soft, and angular offering edge to edge coverage when applying concealer, foundation, or setting powder. The unique angles allow control and precision for getting into hard to reach areas, and flat surface is ideal for blending and placing setting powders. It's also great for stamping out your highlight and contour. So this does have a triangular brush, and you can see it's not just a triangle. It's dirty because I've already used it, um, but it is kind of tilted as well. So it's not a flat top brush by any means. And you guys are gonna see how I use this brush in this video. So if you're curious, just keep watching. I already have my primer and my foundation on and today I'm going to be using the Sigma F87 Edge Kabuki. It says you can use this for really fine areas to reach in like concealer or powder. So I'm going to use this to highlight my face today and I'm going to be using the Cover FX Cream Concealer. I will link to the primer and the foundation that I used down below, but I used the Kippers Primer and a Cover FX foundation. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this out onto my hand. And with this concealer, a little bit goes a very, very long way. So definitely start small. Since I'm going to highlight my whole face, I'm gonna start with that amount, which may seem like a tiny amount, but once you start working it out, there's a lot of product there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dab this underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to apply it to the other places of my face that I would highlight as well. And then I'm going to go in with that F87 to blend this out. I'm really curious to see how well it gets underneath my eyes. And the shape is very unique. You can see it's this kind of elongated triangle. I've never used a brush that's this shape before, so I'm really curious how this is going to work. I'm going to start on some of the easier areas of my face and then do my eyes, I think, last. So for highlighting my Cupid's bow, this actually worked really, really well because you can use just that little tiny triangle. And I like that you can do that with this brush instead of having to pull in another smaller brush to work on that highlight. And let's see how this works on my nose for that same thing. So that worked pretty well. I kind of just focused it so just this part. As you can see, this brush is curved as well. And so that really, really helps to kind of just focus on those areas you want it to go instead of having it like blend everything, if that makes sense. A lot of brushes are flat. Because this is curved, I feel like that gives it a slight advantage. And that worked really nicely on my forehead too. I did turn it upside down, so it was like an upside down triangle. And that definitely helps to get that area a little bit better. And with this, when you're doing your contour, you're able to get really crisp lines too. I really like that about this. Okay, let's go for under the eyes because that is where I'm the most curious to try this. That is impressive, okay. I am really impressed by that. That blended things out really, really quickly, really evenly. I was able to get right up underneath my eye without any effort. I was able to kind of blend it down the edges of my nose just so, so easily. So I'm definitely very impressed with this. I do want to try putting a little bit of powder on it and using it for baking because I'm just curious how that's going to go. So I'm going to use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder for that. I feel like for the application, this brush just gives you so much control. I really like that for baking too. You can get exactly where you want it to go. And because it's not super, super fluffy, it's not distributing a ton of product outside of that area. It's dense enough that it keeps it in that line where you apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I'll be back for kind of like my final thoughts on this brush. I finished up the rest of my makeup. I'll list everything down below that I used, and I wanted to come back and just share my final thoughts on this brush. I really liked it. I thought that it did a great job of a, like blending out my concealer. It did a great job with the powder. It did a really good job of getting into those points of the faces. And I love the shape. I think that the shape is amazing for highlighting. I could see it working really well for contour too. But for me, the big thing is the application of concealer and highlighting and then the baking, which is like, that was the main claims of this brush. I really enjoyed it. I'll be using it again, and I would definitely recommend checking out this brush, especially if you struggle with getting concealer on under your under eyes, or you're wanting to just, you know, make your application of highlight a little bit easier. This is gonna be a great brush to try out. Let me know in the comments what your favorite brush for highlighting is, and I'll see you in my next video.